Taskmaster. No! Oh my god, it's another Bosch! <laughs> Welcome to Taskmaster, I'm not the Taskmaster, I'm Adam from FWCI and this is Taskmaster Season 11, Episode 6, Absolute Casserole. I like that saying, I don't know, that sounds like a Wozniak. That's a Wozniak, isn't it? First of all, early access, full length versions of these reactions are at patreon.com slash FWCI. Make sure you check that out and support the channel a bit further. If you feel like it, if you don't feel like that, maybe just hit the subscribe button. Because there's a lot more Taskmaster and Taskmaster adjacent content coming to this channel in the future. And I would just love all of you to just join along with me for the ride and find out what I love and find out what I hate and let's 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 do this let's do this journey now the last episode wow the we had the the licking task that was horrifying Mike Wozniak is just I'm fascinated by him and I think probably everybody that was introduced to him through this show is probably saying the same thing I just every word out of his mouth is so British and he's so shameless about it but he's also not like uh unpleasant or grating or arrogant or anything like he just has this really beautiful blend of like really like tedious old man bullshit and then just like the brightness of somebody who lives in the moment and actually enjoys things <laughs> He's like a happy British person. Is that, is that a thing? Just make sure you don't put the loo roll on top of the bin because he will lose his shit. Lee was getting quite stroppy in the last episode, let's be honest. He was not happy about a couple of things in that one. And Charlotte Ritchie and Jamali Maddox and Sarah Kendall. Honestly, it's pretty much a five out of five cast this year. They, they just nailed it with who they've got on here and... There's not a huge dynamic, I think, between the team members. Not like there was in Season 10 or in Season 7 and stuff like that, but they all just have some something really, really genuine and enjoyable to bring to the table. So let's jump into the episode. Taskmaster, Season 11, Episode 6, Absolute Casserole. A man who is single-handedly keeping the plastic slip-on shoe industry alive. <laughs> it's Little Alex Hall! Really? I don't like the sound of those shoes, Alex. They're <laughs> even more practical than Velcro. I don't know why you wouldn't wear them. So I'm feeling very nostalgic. How are you? I was thinking about old holidays and I brought a couple of photos. Are we at the stage where I can show you holiday photos? Yeah. Yeah? What is this shit, Alex? That's me in uh, Scotland on Iona, a little uh, stony promontory. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? And that is genuinely it for this section. <laughs> Wow, fuck me. So I've um, got one of my family photos to show Alex. <laughs> <laughs> so that's nice. <laughs> that? So now we can go with the game. <laughs> now that we've shared family photos. <laughs> was, that, was it just like a picture of a dick or something? It's the most annoying thing. <laughs> the most annoying thing. You know what? You can have the washing machine. Sometimes it stops for no reason and just keeps beeping and beeping and beeping and you go down and you open up the lid and then you close the lid and then it just starts again. Other times it does this. And it sounds like it's gonna fly through the goddamn wall. You want it? It's yours. That will take home five really annoying things and probably feel quite annoyed about winning. Yeah, good point. The winner gets annoyed okay. to hell. In uh, what I found out is called a stud finder. That's what it looks like, little machine. Oh yeah, it makes a beeping noise, right? Every time I ran it across any surface, it would give me a different result. Every single time, <laughs> a different result. I am annoyed by your description of it. <laughs> we'll beep them. for anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's a piece of shit. Bleep. <laughs> you know what? I think that's not a bad way. Uh, not a bad starting point. A yard of Twix, and we've got it yard here. Of the yard of Twix. Oh my and god, that... you can buy a yard of Twix? Oh, they're just individual ones, damn. Oh, a <laughs> solid piece of wood. So I'm very annoyed because Ooh. my kids are now crying, they're screaming, they're going crazy. Aren't they supposed to hit you with that? For me, the alarm clock is the most annoying item that there is that exists. Oh, you know what? Solid entrant. 
anything. We can hear the noises if you want. This is what they all sound like. Oh, together. no, now we're talking. This might make them gen. Oh, God. Eh, eh, eh. That one. That's the one. So you're bringing in the concept of being woken up. Yeah, yeah. And the, well, I mean, the concept is sort of t No, the physical alarm clock. That's what I would be bringing in. Red, white, and blue today. This is what he's brought in. I'm fully on board with you about this, right. but I just want to clarify what you. <laughs> he's already on board. I've got two nieces who I'm very fond of, but when they come up and go, look, I'm a tiger, I've had my face painted. Yeah, it's jarring, isn't it? I couldn't give a shit. And it's I never couldn't... done great. <laughs> <laughs> really oh, me? Yeah, really A blue light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they're just aggravating each other. Uh, what? Symbolic nipple? Unless I'm very, very, very heavily distracted. <laughs> what? Uh, I, what are I you either talking about? have something in my mouth or I'm thinking about what I could put in my mouth. Is this why you drink so much milk? Are you thinking of something right now to put in your mouth? I am, yeah. What do you want to put in your mouth now? I want to put in something minty. <laughs> <laughs> if I walk past you with my thumb like this, you'd I'll be, be on it. it. I'll be on it, I guess. Yeah, OK. Don't, don't rat up a kilt. <laughs> don't do <laughs> OK, OK. Just, just in, time. in terms of objects, yes. it's party time. That was very strange, wasn't the act? It's weird o'clock, tick-tock. You're a busy actress. Pull yourself together, two points. <laughs> <laughs> that seems harsh. A shared dislike of children being free to express themselves. <laughs> Jamali takes five. See, I don't think that's the most annoying thing, but the way that that played out with Greg and Jamali, just like, yeah, yeah, 100%, I'm, I'm with you. I totally understand the five points. Fart. Fartest wins. Your time starts wow. now. You have to fart? <laughs> All right, let's go. I love a good fart joke. No gas in the tank. What the hell are Sarah and um, Charlotte going to do in this one? There was a guy at primary school. I think he used to have various brewing positions. He used to swear by. There are a lot of them involved. Sort of. I haven't seen any of the other contestants, by the way. Try and <laughs> massage the inner, the inner mic. This is a mic-only task. <laughs> Great. Well, occasionally in this show, we have said... No! Come on! Fart. Do you know what bugs me about this task? I've always got one in the bank ready to go. <laughs> now it's, you know, TikTok, it's about o'clock. Uh, <laughs> More fucking TikTok jokes! The mercy of, you know, of, of internal happenings. Yeah. <laughs> internal happenings. <laughs> that should have been the name of the episode. We're going to return to Mike and his quest to fart but well, that's a good solo task as well i'm sure they wanted to give that to everyone but they're like we can't ask the ladies <laughs> to fart on tv Catherine parkinson nearly died because we thought she farted best portrait of the taskmaster on this door only using your feet you have 10 minutes. Ooh, all right i mean getting the lids off as well oh all the information is on the task no, you can open it up. Oh, Dad, you've muffied to pick this up. It's up to you how you interpret it. <laughs> Fuck you, Alex. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh god, that was brilliant. That that gives me vibes of Ramesh just smashing the um, uh, the watermelon on the ground. All right, hang on. Let me hear the fucking wording of this task. Paint a picture, but with your feet. Okay, simple as that. No hidden catch. Your feet, as was clearly stated on the task. So anyway, here is Lee Mack all by himself. <laughs> <laughs> You're still painting it with your feet if you, like, open the paint with your hands, though. Oh. Oh, yeah, but this isn't your feet, is it? Oh, Lee. <laughs> no! What does he wear on top, you see? A black jacket. Let's go orange again, then. I mean, this is a, <laughs> a messy but great idea. It's the level of the top of yes. the... Yes, we'll do it then, quick! <laughs> <laughs> he got so 
lost in what the actual task was. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> nice touch. And na nature has taken care of forming my penis, I see. <laughs> yeah. What a shame that you didn't adhere to any of the rules. No, I did. And it doesn't look like me in the slightest. I did adhere to the rules because I only used my feet. He, <laughs> he put it onto my back, didn't yeah. he? And I used my feet. No, you used your ass and your legs and your arms and your face. Yeah, where did the feet end? <laughs> where did they end? <laughs> Somewhere lower than here, Lee Mack. I'm a follower of rules. I hope nobody that uses just their feet to open it all up um, get any sympathy points at all. <laughs> so I mix them with the white. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. Making the head into a quadrant. A, a quadrant? I'm sort of interpreting it in terms of like abstract. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all you got right now, Jamali. <laughs> With the greatest of respects. I've given him a sort of provincial um, purple rinse. <laughs> Let's give him a little pirate earring. Jesus, Jamali. <laughs> Meanwhile, Charlotte is just trying to like stomp on his face as much as she can because she's annoyed. Oh. <laughs> Sit under a tree, thinking of toss and shit. <laughs> so about the caravan. It's not just the caravan in the end, but thank you. Wow, Jamali, that was an impressive... What is it you said in the last one? So I just decided to fuck the place up? The idea of me sitting under a tree, <laughs> thinking of tusks and shit. <laughs> yeah. <And> of course... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> my career might be over from this, but not my career as a children's TV presenter. No way, not with those men. She'd be good at that, to be honest. She has a very warm personality. That's <laughs> lovely, isn't it? Yeah, you can see the animation now. <laughs> that looks less like me than Lee Mack's picture of himself. <laughs> Glass floor, and that you can see your footprints, and you're like leaning over and. Oh my god. I love it. Yeah. So from the point of view of a fish under a glass bottom <gasps> disco boat. Yes. <laughs> so bear in mind, he said he's trying to represent the sternness in the eyebrows, kissable lips, not an unattractive man. <laughs> <laughs> he said you're going to a party. That's why you're wearing your bow tie and your special red party trousers. <laughs> There's his little piggy nose and she did this. <laughs> so, oh, he's a genie? Actually, that is pretty good. It was so good you could take it to a gallery and sell this shit. Here it is. <laughs> uh, I like that. Oh, oh, God. God. I can't even see what the tree is that he's talking about. And then you've got the green as well, which represents your love of nature. <laughs> Come on. I quite like it as a picture. Oh, oh my God. All right. <laughs> All right. Sarah Kendall, number one. Lee Mack, he, nothing. He get, he gets zero. He used his face. Uh, Charlotte, number two. <laughs> Mike Wozniak, number three. And uh, yes, points are awarded to Jamali as well. He gets a point out of it. Oh, oh, Lee Mack gets one point. Um, now, let's all guess who's lucky, points. lucky Lee Mack. Three points. Steady well done, three. Charlotte. Right. The question <laughs> is, is it the baby genie that takes four points? Or am I going to uh, give five points to Jamali's madness? What? Hand on heart, if I wanted people to see an artistic representation of me, I would choose Jamali's. OK, all right. I guess, in a way, yeah. It kind of is a representation of the madness that is Greg Davies. And ten points, and he's in second place in the series. Well done, Jamali. Oh, damn. It's a naughty, naughty team task. All right, TikTok naughty team task o'clock. Vandalize this wall. Most creative vandalism wins. <laughs> you have 20 minutes. Hell yes. Right, let's jack it off for this. Yeah, jack it off, jack it off. Oh. Wozniak, just squeeze one out of your Wozni crack. We are now one and a half hours into my... Why has he been like, oh, I do say, chap, can I have a can of baked beans? And knowing him, he'd be like... Blah, 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 blah. 
Done. Would you be willing to put a mask on and let us spray you to get the outline of your body? I've got an idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jamali! Oh, where did you get that idea from? Can we get a blowtorch, please? <laughs> blowtorch? What are you doing? And why has Alex got titties? Oh, that's bad, isn't it? Think of the I think your yellow is good. If you want to fill in these gaps with yellow, I think your yeah. yellows are more crafty. Oh, yeah, the trio is doing a much better job of this. Oh, yeah, so they'll put a lovely little bit of yellow on here. And the other team is just like, Anarchy! Yeah, see? <laughs> and we let the passers by creatively add to it. Okay. Oh my god! Epic! Yeah, hit me in the dick. <laughs> Alright, neither of those took the kind of direction I was kind of expecting. I thought we'd get something like really like pretty. The trio leaned heavy on the vandalism side of it. So I became Banksy's girl with balloon. Can, can I just point out it was Mike that wrote Street Tough and not me. <laughs> with... <laughs> oh my god, that looks so good. And the politeness was taken care of by Charlotte, who? who, once she'd uh, knocked a paint covered ball into your penis, went epic. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to repair that within 24 hours because that's just unsightly. Whereas ours, they might go, is it art? Is it vandalism? Let's keep it up. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to give them five sweet points each. Whoa. These asbos. <laughs> You're, I'm only giving you this one point because Charlotte shouted epic during it. <laughs> so one point to Sarah, one to Jamali, one to Charlotte, five to the... No what? They only got one point? Wow. I would have... I would have gone five for the trio, two for Wozni Mac. Three for Wozni Mac. Identify the contents of the battered items in this fish and chips order. You may really stamp on one. Really stamp. Really stamp. Really stamp. Yeah, Jamali, you got that one. You may put one in a glass of water. Most correctly identified items wins. Shit. All right, there's a lot to unpack with that. Side note, I think I can manage my previous challenge. I'm going to scare it off. On the stamping mat? On the stamping mat. Oh, no, I've scared it off. Oh, here I've we go. It off. <laughs> I've scared it off. Come on. Well, I can definitely smell batter. <laughs> that taste of batter. <laughs> Why aren't you letting us see you're licking? What? Oh, you licked that one hard. That's uh, great. <laughs> that was just one big lick, was it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stamp on you. All right. Um, what's your name again? Sarah? You should remember that. It's my partner's name. Hello. Hello. So I'm guessing, is that a kiwi fruit? It's a kiwi fruit. Jesus Christ. Oh, what did you buy? Oh, that's... <laughs> what the hell is that? Hang on, that's a... Book? Wallet? <laughs> oh. Why why did you do that? I think this might just be a clump of batter. Hey, well done. And this is um an uninflated balloon. <laughs> God damn this looked difficult. I've never smelled anything worse. I found it fascinating that you said that, the most disgusting smell, and then went back in for a second oh, smell. Exactly! Well, ripped you... the batter off it with her tongue. I didn't rip the batter off it <laughs> well, with my tongue. you licked it aggressively. I licked it hard. You <laughs> did hook my tongue under a little bit of batter to... But that was still in a licking motion. you got quite a sort of rough sandpaper tongue. Licking motion, it counts. Biting into two. I call that the non-vegan egg. I'm going to bite into this one. Oh, whoops. <laughs> if it's supposed to be like a, a bit of leather or something, I don't think you'd do that. It would be... OK. <laughs> what do you think now? It's a wallet. <laughs> Did you get the message that I'm a vegan? Yeah, yeah, I've got a message that you're vegan. It's just egg and a leather wallet. <laughs> going to go for jam. Scrawny, but sharp. You can still sniff that, though, can't you? Oh, a razor. Yeah, so a razor blade. No, oh, no. A razor like a rubber. <laughs> a razor. A razor? Yeah. <laughs> I was... Listen, I'm 99% I'm that I'm not the full vegan yet because I keep... I, I'll, I'll lick a wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Lee got kiwi egg wallet, 
There was no jam, lychee or banana, so he got three out of six. Could be worse. Hey, Mike. All right, three out of six for Lee and Charlotte. Oh, Christ. Still time. I'll keep working on it. <laughs> Never has a nation been so gripped by one man's oh, battle. When is this bowel. fight going to come <laughs> Will out? he succeed? Is this what will make <laughs> Mike Wozniak a household name? Will his efforts bring our broken nation back together? <laughs> a wallet? Oh, it's got a receipt. It's a wallet with a receipt. Oh, oh here we go. In the batter, there's uh, an apple and blackberry pie. Oh! Oh! A great individual on the wallet. That's what's in all of you. Legend! Yeah, it's batter in the batter. Thank you, Jamali. All right, then. Well done. Sarah checked that, though, didn't she? I've been pretending I've never seen this show. I'm a big fan of the show. <laughs> 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 this is where you reveal it. This is where Sarah came next. She gets four. Charlotte, three. Mike, two. Yeah, well done, Jamali. I'm very impressed with that. I don't know how Sarah didn't see it, because she opened it up and, like, looked inside. At this stage, we normally do the final task, but yep. do you want to have one last mic check? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yes, let's mic check. One, two. It must be possible, right? It changed. It changed. <laughs> it changed? What's it? Oh, God! Oh, my God! It sounded like you just shit a little bit. And I think I probably need to check myself, anyway. I agree. That didn't sound uh, like a fart. That sounded like a, a little follow-through. It's one of the worst things I've ever heard in my life. I can talk you through what I think happened, if you want. It's well, not, I, it's not I, pleasant. I, I don't need you to, because you've clearly shut yourself. <laughs> I had done is I'd uh, dislodged a uh, hemorrhoid that had been uh, oh, oh, for quite God. a long time. And fuck off, Mike. You're just grossing us out with your doctor talk. Through my anal canal. No, it was not. Outside, <gasps> in full bloom. <laughs> oh, that's what he did? Hey, you, it's still loose. Oh, it's an absolute casserole down there. <laughs> Task, you do the task. <laughs> yeah, you don't blow your asshole out. <laughs> Just have a look at his little face. Let's have a look. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, it's too much. Do you want to give him a point at all? Gee, we've got to give him something. <laughs> How many are we giving him? No. Just one. One. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, one one hemorrhoid, I suppose. Okay, so one hemorrhoid and one point. So yeah. Mike Wozniak. Oh my god! Oh! 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 oh, oh that's too much! That's too much! <laughs> oh! Oh god! <laughs> Christ! Okay! 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 All right, was the heck? <laughs> what a tragic, tragic end to that task. Oh God, and he has no shame. There's no shame at all. He's like, yes, we have a, a, a hemorrhoid and it popped out and that's what that squelching noise was. Holy, f oh Christ. All right, all right, all right. That point, I think he will agree, was worth it. Mike's now in second place. Wow. Uh, we've got Sarah on 103, Mike on 84, Jamali 83. Sarah's already got this one. He's not won an episode yet, but he's on 16 points. Wrong Here we go. It's the Jamali show. Tick tock, Jamali o'clock. Tie the very ends of the string to the arms of the glasses, then put the glasses on. Fastest wins. Oh, it's going to be a string unraveling task. Good luck. So as fast as wins, your time starts. All right, crack the code, uh, 11.06. M-C-M-L-X-V-I-I-I. -I -I. He loves it. Oh, I hate you, Taskmaster. Double it, double it, double it again. If you want. 123 times 16. Yep, that's a good way to do it, actually. Planet of the Apes. I remember the year when that was released. Well, what year was it? Oh, 1983. 
1973. Uh, what is Charlotte doing? I don't know how to do maths. <laughs> the end yes we have one completed person oh that would just put so much pressure on the others <laughs> jamali he doesn't give a fuck the only one who actually wears glasses gets last. Oh, hang on, what does that mean about the score? Who got first? Lee. I think Lee might have won the whole thing. Lee Mack did it fastest. He that sounds so surprised. <laughs> Jamali is still in the lead, but with Mike, they've both got 17 points. Oh, oh tiebreaker, let's go. Because oh, they had to fire as many rubber bands as possible into my dangerously positioned bum bag. Oh, shit, all right, well. <laughs> okay, <laughs> didn't go well for you, um, Jamali. Oh, no. Not a single one. Nice driving, better. Oh, I oh, got one in. Thanks. Does that count? It didn't look like they were flinging, but I don't think they're going to get in the weeds for a tiebreaker. Mike got one rubber band into my bum bag. Jamali got seven. Well done, Jamali. I'm not going to argue that. I want him to win. This is what we've learned today. Ah, I knew it was coming! <laughs> I love him just being annoyed at shit. Except nipples, he's like, yeah, I'm fine with that. Oh my god, there was some classic, classic moments in this episode. Let's 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 just go through them and see what see what we had. The annoying things, prize task. Uh, that was an interesting one. I, I mean I think Sarah Kendall probably should have won that one, if I'm being honest. I definitely don't understand Jamali and Greg's um, disdain for the art of face painting. The draw a portrait with your feet. I would have thought that, that it's okay to use your hands. Apparently that was okay. And in that case, I mean, you could kind of push that boundary a little bit and maybe draw it on the on the paper with your um with your hand and then use your feet to like smudge it in i don't know but i definitely uh, liked the uh, i think personally i mean the genie one was good it definitely looked the best i might have enjoyed mike's even more his was just the st ah! yeah i'm gonna be thinking about that for a while jamali stomping on the paint in that task and then getting more opportunities to do that later on in the show was just a great running gag at that point it felt like <laughs> in fact the next task was the vandalism task and i think the trio got kind of screwed on that i didn't really find wasney max effort in that one to sort of stand out the other one looked great the other one looked like true vandalism and they could have maybe done something a little bit more creative and like done a face or added some kind of like joke in there somewhere i guess and then maybe that's what it was lacking but um i, I love the way it turned out it looks awesome i'd even use that as the background for future videos i don't know maybe i'm using it as the background for this video we'll have to wait and see the one where they had to taste the deep fried items i mean uh, that was just kind of um it kind of reminded me of the one from the last episode where they had to be blindfolded and, um, you know, find out the, the face-based geometry task, as it's probably known as. But that task was really uncomfortable, and I don't know, I feel like Jamali finding the receipt didn't get enough love at the time. I don't know, I, I really enjoyed him finding the, the hack for that task. The live task at the end was fine, but Mike Wozniak having to fart. Oh my god, I didn't know where that was, like... I don't know if it was going to happen in like the next episode or if it was going to happen in the studio if he still hadn't done it or anything like that but i definitely did, didn't expect him to force out a hemorrhoid <laughs> just for a bonus point if he wins the show by one point which i don't think he is because sarah kendall is just in full flight at this point but if he wins by one point it's very well earned because yeah the man gave himself a hemorrhoid just trying to squeeze out a fart. I wonder if he asked for any food. Like, hey, can I get some, like I say, some baked beans. Give me some baked beans. Piece of toast as well, if you don't mind. In the mouth, lock it in. 
farts galore, maybe you wouldn't have nearly shit your pants on TV. But like I said at the start, Mike Wozniak is such a unique, unusual, interesting fellow, and he's the kind of guy that can, like I say, push out a hemorrhoid on TV and then just sit there and be like, hey, this is what happened, and I'm fine with it. I'll take my bonus point. Thank you very much. What's it that he said in one of the previous episodes? One thing you can't take away from me is that I had a lovely day. <laughs> but that was just absolute chaos. I am blown away by how good this season has been so far. Like the, it's not that every episode is like dense with humor, like uh, season seven, for example, where there's like just constant like really good banter and back and forth and ripping, riffing and stuff like that. It is quality like studio banter, but the big moments and the big things that are happening, a lot of them are because of Wozniak, a completely like next level compared to most seasons. Like you get your big moments, like, you know, Mel eating the sandwich comes to mind, uh, Rod and Acaster during the uh, build an extension onto the Taskmaster's house. That there's, there's moments that have been like scattered through, but this season I feel like has already had a bunch and they always save something good for the end of the season as well. So thanks for checking this video out. Thanks to these people here who uh, helped me out on Patreon. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't already. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, ta-ta and farewell. Rumesh will make up a loot appear Not sure how he's a wizard I hear Winner come will never forget Craig's name It's tattooed on his foot All for a game